Spike's deafness wasn't caused by the car accident. What we found during the surgery was the, the condition was pre-existing and degenerative. Spike would be deaf, accident or no accident. Joe, are you trying to say that Greenlee is not responsible? Joe, how can Greenlee not be the reason Spike's deaf? It happened right after the accident. I know, and uh, we all assumed that was the cause, but actually I was just saying the cause was chromosomal mutation. His deafness was inevitable. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Chromosomal, does that mean that our other children are possibly... No, 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 uh, neither of you are carriers. As I explained, the mutation was spontaneous. Okay, I really don't understand this. The trauma of the accident? Mm -hmm. The head injury? I, I know, but completely unrelated. So, I'll look in on uh, Spike later on, and uh, certainly if there are any questions you have, just give me a call. Okay, thank you, Joe. We will give you a call. Thank you. All this time, and it wasn't Greenlee? Oh, my God, what have I done? Oh, come on, honey. There was no way you could have known. I, 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 I tried to forgive Greenlee so many times, and every time that she apologized to me, the one thing that I couldn't get past was, was Spike being deaf. She kidnapped your child. She hurt your child. Yes, but, Mom, that, that's the reason why I hated her, because my son was deaf. And she has no idea that it wasn't her fault. I ruined Greenlee's life for nothing, and now life is paying me back. And now I may never see Zach again. Oh, honey, now wait a minute. One thing has nothing to do with the other. No, don't, don't you get it, Mother? I'm the one who may have killed my husband. Kendall, you have to stop this. You did not kill Zach. And he's going to tell you that himself as soon as he's home. Yeah, but Mom, if I hadn't gone after Greenlee, none of this would have happened. You had to go after Greenlee. You saw her as a threat to your children. My goodness, you reacted as any mother would. What we do in the name of family can get a little bit out of control sometimes. I took this right over the edge. Honey, listen to me. Even if Greenlee didn't cause Spike's deafness, you didn't make her run. I set her up. Greenlee ran because she's guilty. She's guilty of kidnapping Spike, of nearly killing him. She's guilty of, of Ian's premature birth, of all the months of struggle you've been through. You're right. I know. I know all of that. But if Greenlee's guilty, then why do I feel so bad? Everything I did to Greenlee, all of that anger and the hate and the craziness, it came from her unforgivable crime. She made Spike deaf. Okay? That's what I thought. And I wanted her to pay. But now... Now changes nothing. You did what you did to protect your children. We all did things. I, I, I had Greenlee follow 24 hours a day, all right? We all made it impossible for her to take a breath without remembering how much we hate her. Listen, I think you are both forgetting how much Greenlee earned that hate. You know what? What's important right now is that we let go of the blame, we let go of all this hate, and we focus on what's really important. And what's important right now is finding Greenlee and finding Sam. Wait, wait, Ryan, wait. Where are you going? I'm going to go tell Aiden. I think he deserves to know. No, Ryan, listen to me. Listen to me, okay? Greenlee is a fugitive because of me, all right? It has to come from me. Okay, please, let me go. Please. All right, but be careful out there. All right, storm's coming. Can you please take care of my sons? Careful, honey. 